Okay, we've got seven fish and we've got about five, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine call fish. So I picked the biggest, um, used the call scale and weighed, found their sixth and the seven. I went through four different fish to get the closest, but they're all pretty much cookie cutters. Six point fifty eight. Don't give me a billion out there. It should be easy to spot. Alright, lay them in there. Pretty white. One point twenty four. We the last ones weigh in? No. Get some pictures here, Chip. Where's Anthony at? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we call him up to fill a pool at like 10 o'clock. But they don't. Okay. Okay. Sick. Do a walk by. <laughs> what happened to him? He got scared of the little rain. No, he gonna roll his wind up. <laughs> he ain't scared of nothing. Hey. Hey. Smile, you're semi-famous again. <laughs> there we go. Chip out. What's up, Chip? What up, Chip? I'm glad you ran them off today, baby. Uh -huh. I wish I would've known that's what they was doing. I know they look funny. Had that big fur thing on, didn't they? Sitting up up front. I, I I just saw the shadows. I I heard this guy like in control singing out, and all them other on the other side. I was like, yeah, that ain't a Jesus. But we but we are Jesus, so y'all got to go. Yes. And and it wasn't long after that. They all hopped in their car, and people came in and said. Who were all those cars leaving at one time? Wow. Wow. I mean, just, yeah. I got out of the car from, or the truck out of a little sleep, and I'm just like, ah, uh, you know. I just, that, that just didn't feel right. And then I heard him chanting. Yeah. And, and. You already know what that is. I, yeah, you know, east is that way or that way. Yeah, you know, they were facing all facing that way. So that they were, one of them was dressed up in big fur. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Was that the one on this one side up, singing, up front, singing on the, the one up front? Yep. Yeah, and all the other chanting. Wow. Might be cute Always a pleasure doing a walk by with you, sir. How'd you do today? Six eight. Six eight. Okay, we we somewhat close. We had fun though. Oh, yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah. We had fun. We it's a learning experience. We gain knowledge. We gain friendship. 
and we're getting ready to have fellowship. Peace. No, no, stop recording, not start. Go for it, stop recording. Big eye crappy man getting ready to weigh in. I was feeling good about the day. I got to see where y'all were fishing, where Cal was fishing. <laughs> I don't know what the big fish is going to be, so we're going to have to just wait a sub. Wait a sub and then worry about it later. Ooh, doggy. You need some help with that? You got some minerals. Ready work, brother. So look, look at that, that two pound mina in there. I see him. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> okay with weighing mina? Put them on there. Put them on Let's see what we got. We're good. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we got enough. Hold on. Hold on. 1156. Oh. 1156, let's take that. 1156. 1156. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come close. Today's the day. You know which one it is? Yeah. Put that back up there and put your lid on and zero. Yeah. Wait, wait, her first. Hit the middle button. Yeah, that's right. I'll put him on that. Zero. Two of that. Three, three, three chances is it. Now, that's, yeah, right. yeah. that's a big one. That's a big one. He's pound three quarter. I thought we had a couple good ones in there. One seventy three. Dang. All pound three quarter. That's what got us. That's right. Pretty nice fish, man. All right, go Pretty work. Pretty work. All right, Dave. Let's get a So, this is the last event for the year other than the championship right here uh, next week that's the championship who wants to go to harris raise your hand who wants to go to jordan raise your hand who wants to go to falls raise your hand right. we're going to fall we're going to jordan and harris just coming up we can fish either jordan or harris uh, so we'll, we'll, you'll come to uh, Farrington like we usually do, check in. Uh, as soon as you get your live wells checked and registered, you start fishing. You don't have to wait till it gets locked. You'll be back there at, uh, you stop fishing at three, you'll be back at four, just like normal. We'll be at the same place that we always are. So, it was a great day today. How many caught fish? Ten foot or deeper. He caught um eight foot between eight and five foot. Yeah, Who caught um three foot or less? That's some pretty fish weighing. Pretty fish caught. Mm -hmm. Let's let's thank the Lord. Throw that worm. Throw that hook. Throw that metal in there. Now's the time. It's going to be done. Big fish today. Big fish. How many teeps?
14. So we're only paying, we're paying three places today. Big fish today. They fished hard, because I fished right beside them, just as hard as they did. Big fish today, a 2.05, big old white crappie. Jason Evans and Britt McDonald. Good job, guys. I think there's a hundred dollars in there. I ain't got to take the money right over there. There you go. Good job. <laughs> nah, I'll let you keep your camera. It might break. That's why I got this thing pointing out that way. Second place. Second place today was with 11.56 pounds. 11.85 big fish with the big eye crappy man and his partner David Jacob. And we had fun. We caught a bunch of fish. Them boys can attest to that. They was there, they were really just chomping it, man, I'm telling you. And we lost a bunch of good ones too. But second place today goes to our team. So you know what we do with our money? We always give it back. Now The reason we give this money back, guys, is because it's just what it is. It's, it's just a it's just a it's a it's a notion. It's a statement. It's a something that you can parallel with something else. And we and we do it because we don't deserve anything. The only thing we as people deserve is death. That somebody took our place. It's not what we did at all. If you could earn heaven. That means you could lose it. If you could earn salvation by yourself, that means you could lose salvation. Once you become a Christian, you're saved. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you're going to be saved. But the main part about that is it's nothing that you did. Somebody else did it for you. You can't lose that. You can't, you can't screw up enough to lose it. I know. Today, I'm going to give this to a buddy of mine right here. <laughs> you don't win that today, don't you? <laughs> That's what the gospel's about right Amen. there. It ain't Amen. nothing you did. Somebody else did for you. That's what Christ did for you. All right, buddy? Pretty work, man. Pretty work. All right. First place. By the skin of his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and he deserves it. And he's been second place too many times. I don't know how the points are going to shake out, but there's a lot of multiplying and subtracting we got to do. The dead fish, late people, all kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know that. We'll let you know that next Saturday at the same time. But don't run off thinking you done won something because you may not have. First place today, though, with 11.85. That's like a scale. <laughs> left a couple of them minutes in there. <laughs> <laughs> a couple more minutes in there. Might have made it. It ain't second place no more today. And when you're Jesus, you were Jesus, you're going to always be first place because he gave his life for you. But today, the Lord opened the mouth of the fish for these guys. Jason Evans and Brent McDonald. 11 285 <laughs> Good job, guys. Praise the Lord. What was the best color? Huh? Our truth. Our truth. 
favorite color we had today was in second place was orange, black and orange, chartreuse, and black and chartreuse. If you didn't have orange on it, orange, black, or chartreuse, you weren't going to catch enough. I mean, for our bite, the depth we were fishing. And, and our bite, I don't know how their bite was, because they were in the same place we were, but our bite was like this. Yep. Suck it down, right? Just yeah. like, and sometimes we go, boom! <laughs> and sometimes you miss them, sometimes you catch them. And we lost some good fish, I'm sure they did, and I'm sure all of you did, but man, that was a great day out there. You know, we, when the fish bite and God opens the mouth of those fish and you enjoy that day, don't forget that. Remember that it had nothing to do with you. It had something to do with the Lord opening those fish's mouth for you to catch. If he, if he, you didn't catch fish today, how many times have you caught fish? And went home first place. Well, those guys right there, they're still the champion right now. And who knows what can happen. <laughs> right now, they're the champion. And we can make it even more interesting by making one more tournament be a part of that. Because then our turn tournament director said we can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we might have a wrestling match at the tournament. <laughs> Tag team? You better get the two little guys to do it. Yes. I think we'd enjoy that a little bit better. <laughs> Third place. <clears throat> Always get your money back in third place, you get $25. Third place today with 10.72 pounds. That's a good weight, too, today. I can tell you, that them old white crabbies, they don't weigh as much as them big old black crabbies do. Today. I love their beautiful fish, but they just don't they ain't designed it. They're beautiful. Seven fish, 10.72 pounds, a big fish of 1.73. Get the money back, the entry fee, Eddie Clifton and Scott Clifton. Good job, guys. Uh, Thank you. I've been fishing with this boy right here a long time. Along with Jimmy, Chester, longer than any of you guys that are here now. Them, them guys, they're, they're fishing. They've been chasing this elusive big eye crabby for a long time. And you can learn something from it. It's like somebody that loves the Lord, guys. If you want to know something about that, ask, ask somebody. I tell you, man, you need to know about that stuff. You need to open up that Bible and read it like Jeff was talking about. That's what it's all about. Hey, this could be the last time you ever go outside and enjoy the day. A good friend of mine has come and shared it at our church a couple of times, and he's such a great guy. You've never met a guy with a personality this guy's got. He flipped it. When he comes and speaks, I remember one time he flipped the spinnerbait into my buddy's lap, and it had a real hook on it. This guy standing in front of everybody, and he, he was like from here to cow over there. He flipped that spinnerbait right in that joke and lap. Said, don't move now. Don't move. And then he picked that thing right back up, and he, and he was talking about the Lord the whole time. He was awesome. Telling him. He, he, his name is Jimmy Houston. Jimmy Houston's wife had a brain aneurysm while he was away from home doing stuff like that. She's on her deathbed. The only thing that's going to happen to get her up out is the Lord's going to have to move and touch her. But the good Lord can. He can. And He has. Many times. Probably in some of you guys' life. Well, you probably know somebody. So before we leave, we're going to, we're going to pray for her. We're going to pray for Jimmy. Because Jimmy's a big Christian. Jimmy's not scared to, to, to get to talk to people, to pray with people, to share the gospel. And I'm gonna tell you, we've had we've had all kinds of people come and speak at our bank. We had a guy come with no arms and no legs. 
no arms and no legs, son. And he's a fast master in the fast master tournaments. No arms and no legs. He ties his hooks on with his tongue. Oh. Clay Dyer. Look that joker up, but he is tough. You're without excuse. You're without excuse. You got two arms and two legs, bro. A brain that can think. We've had great speakers like him. We've had Phil Robertson, Uncle Si, Jason Miss, Hank Parker, Hank Parker Jr., Shaw Grigsby, if you know all of them. Those guys are all great fishermen that love God. I want y'all to be one of them too. So you can spend that time with I want to spend that time with you. Yeah, with your whole family. It's all up to you and the decisions that you make. And it's just by faith. It's like when you when, when me and David drove up in there this morning, we're like, man, this is perfect. Man. This is perfect. It ain't a perfect time right now. It ain't a perfect, perfect time. Look, the water's slick. Bait's twitching everywhere. Fish coming up, eating stuff on the top. That's the time. We'll find out who the champion is. 5.30 to 6.30. Turn the point. As soon as you get checked, it's going to be a $75 inch fee. Her boat, seventy-five dollars. Seventy-five dollars. <laughs> we give it all back. And as soon as you get checked in and can leave, you can go fishing. I don't know how they're doing down there in Harris. Anybody been to Harris lately? Harris turned on. Turned on. Just turned back on. You can take them big holes out. <laughs> Weed them bass out of the way so you get them crappy. Anybody see any of them bass masters out there today with the cameramen? Yeah. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? I like it when they catch a trap and hold it up when they ride by them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real fish. <laughs> oh, man. Scott's having a baby. When is the baby? Uh, due date's listed as August 10th, but they won't let her go August past 10th. August 3rd. That's awesome. We'll be praying for you, brother, in the baby uh, And it's, it's just, I hate for these days like this to end, man, because it's so fun to compete with you guys and, and uh, be here doing this and, and just sharing and praying together because that's, uh, that's what it's all about. You know, I got friends that are sick and, and they're crappy fishermen. I don't know if you know old Gil, Gary, and Frankie. Uh, Frankie's won the championship out here before. And uh, they're good fishermen. I, I pray for Gil every day. And she's got ovarian cancer and she's struggling. And she's got some blood clots in her and, and everything. But you're not going to find better sportsmen than, than the Gary's. Uh, they could teach you something about crappy fishing. Probably all kinds of fishing. Man, enjoy it. Be safe going home, man. Love you guys.